What is up guys? Uh, welcome back. Only a couple hours left of the Super Pass and we were actually able to get all of these done on this account and the main account. Unfortunately, unlike other Super Pass events, we had to spend quite a few credits. I actually had to spend probably a thousand credits on each account trying to speed up these fusions in order to get it done. Uh, the rest of the missions really weren't all that bad. But the fusion certainly did take a long time and on fusion Friday I mean I spent so many credits on both accounts trying to catch up because otherwise I wouldn't I wouldn't have been able to get it done I knew those fusions would be a problem and they certainly were yeah they certainly were but either way though if you enjoyed the video hit the thumbs up let me know how your super pass went we're gonna claim all the rewards we already did week one in a previous video at the end of week one we did open all of those packs already, but we have from all the missions from week two, three, and four, and the overall, I guess, rewards for completing the entire week. We haven't opened any of those yet. So let's get into it. We got a lot to open, because like I said, we're gonna do this on both accounts. Now, hopefully, uh, we can get some of this stuff back. I mean, we do get credits in the middle of this. Hopefully we get some good rewards. I always have said before, ten dollars is a good deal this time on the other hand being how many credits i had to spend to get it done um definitely debatable we'll just have to see how the rewards are and how well we do with uh you know getting top tier pulls we are guaranteed royal rumbles but on this account on my main account i actually don't have any valentine's royal rumble cards so um the chances of getting a pro now we're gonna get the brock lesnar from the collectibles that is for sure because at the end of this the very end you get the one brock lesnar and then in the in the collectible store you can pull another one so we have plenty of collectibles for that so that's at least one pretty decent royal rumble pro here's our meyer we got a dew drop oh, we got a nikki ash now on this account like i've said in many other videos if it's not top tier I don't keep it. I just silver start no matter what it is. On my alt account, I keep only the special cards and the promos and all that stuff. And really don't uh, care about doing events. So that's kind of, you know, how I guess separate each of the accounts. Equipments. I don't have many equipments either. Okay, Valentine's pack. That is an old Valentine's card. Robert Rude. Some more credits. I need those credits back. That is no doubt. No doubt I need a lot of those credits back. I probably even spent more than a thousand on each account. Exclusive draft picks. Of course we're going to do the exclusive draft board too. When that comes, a uh, big pack with a bunch of, of garbage in it. Let's just skip to results. I have a feeling it's not going to be anything good. Oh, we got a, we got a Maelstrom. That's actually kind of better than expected. Here is our Maelstrom Valentine's. I have actually, that's probably my best card that I've pulled. Actually, you know what? I think I pulled a Valhalla on the draft board. But I have pulled her four times now. Angelo Dawkins, we got a Meyer, another Maelstrom. Indy Hartwell, that's actually a new card. And another Indy Hartwell. We'll take that. Uh, no doubt a silver star, but at least it's a star in the catalog. 25 or 250 credits. This is uh, Valhalla. All right. Boom. Nash Carter. All right. And here is our Royal Rumble, I guess. Now, I, I didn't think it claimed a week. The, the overall main objectives, week one, two, and three. I mean, I don't think these are the packs, but because before we had to claim them separately. But maybe they included them all in here. Boom. Liv Morgan. Hopefully I get that on the alt account because that would be a pro. That's my very first Royal Rumble Valentine's. Very first one. And here is the Brock Lesnar. Okay. Fantastic. That's nice. I mean, it, at least we're going to come away with this thing with at least one pretty good pro. Okay, another Maelstrom. We got an Angel. All right. Another Valhalla. I guess this is the overall ones. Boom. Dakota Kai. That's a new card. All right. I like that. 
Maybe not. Okay, so... Um, I guess all of the bonuses that you still claim separately. So we still do have a chance to pull our very first, you know? We only got one of the cards, so, you know, one out of six. Maybe we can get it. Meyer. James Drake. That's new. Maelstrom. <laughs> That's the fifth one. All right. Valhalla. Let's go, Randy Orton. Uh, I actually have him already, so that's, you know, it's a nose star. Take that. All right, give me my Liv Morgan. I need a, I, I need a female. I, I do need a female. We, I did just get a, my first female Royal Rumble pro from the team event. So I did just get that. Eddie Guerrero. That is well also have the on the alt account so on the alt account i have eddie eddie guerrero and Liv morgan for my two royal rumbles the only two royal rumbles i have over there now exclusive draft board picks three of them let's go baby uh maelstrom chad gable okay valentine's Nothing good, I, at least one Valentine's. Now we will do a video on opening up the collectibles a little bit lady because you know, we're in reward mania and it could be possible. I'm thinking maybe possible that a Brock Lesnar appears in reward mania. So I don't want to waste the 120 collectibles on the Brock Lesnar just yet. I'm gonna wait till reward mania is over close to the end of this event and see if the Brock Lesnar pops up because if it does then I'll just hopefully get it in that and just be able to open up the Valentine's envelope five for all Royal Rumbles. All right now on the alt account and if I could get those the exact same two Royal Rumbles the Liv Morgan Eddie Guerrero on this account that'd be perfect because those are the two that I got so hopefully we hopefully we can have done better a little bit better at least as far as um, Valentine's goes and pulling top tier on the alt account. I think I've pulled maybe more Valentine's on the main account, just not top tier. Definitely gonna have to recoup some of those credits after wasting all of them. I actually thought about not doing it, but then I was thinking, you know what? Uh, yeah, I definitely need to get it done for sure. I'm not gonna spend $10 and then not get the thing done. That would seem like even more of a waste. All right, Meyer, James Drake. Okay, uh, that was the only new one anyway. I do have pretty much every, I think I have most of the Myers. Valhalla, that's not bad actually. Uh, I don't have, I don't think I have any that might actually be my very first Valhalla. Maybe for equipment. It's actually pretty good. Okay, nothing in those. Some more credits. Thank you. Exclusives. We only got three. I think in the first week, I think we got like five picks for the first week. All right, this is the big pack. Hey, look at that, man. Already. I, I feel good about this pack. Or I feel good about this account. We already got a Royal Rumble. Seth freaking Rollins. That's not bad at all. And, and a Maelstrom Valentine's. That was actually a really good pack. Really good pack. We'll take both of those, no doubt. Uh, Seth Rollins is going to be a single versus going to be a... I don't know. I'm sure I'll get it in the middle of these rewards. Angel. All right. Tommaso, just a regular one. And then another Maelstrom. Indy Hartwell. And Otis, which I already proed up. Indy Hartwell's new. Uh, when I do get a Valhalla, though, you know I need that Sonya card. That is the one I need. Come on. Sonya. So close. 
That's all right. All, uh, all of them are good. All of them are good. All right. Uh, Eddie Guerrero, Liv Morgan. Eddie Guerrero, Liv Morgan. Will it in, baby? Dang, Dexter Loomis. All right. That's three singles now. Three Royal Rumble singles. Brock Lesnar. Good pull, good pull. All right, Maelstrom. Another Otis. Come on, man. Stop giving me Otis. Got like five of them already. I mean, of course, we can get that, the F3, but I'd rather have uh, the new stars. New pros. Sonya! That's what I'm talking about. All right, we got our pro. We got our Sonya pro. Beautiful. Just in time, too. That was a, the very last one. All right. So now we got all four of these, or all four of these guaranteed. Valentine's. Just give me new cards. Do drop. I don't have a pro up yet, so I'll take that one. It's not bad. Chad Gable for the Maelstrom. Uh, I almost want to say I want another Sonya. Wesley, that's actually a new card. So we'll take that. Yeah, I totally forgot he was even in there. All right, uh, now we got three to pick from. Dexter Loomis, Eddie Guerrero, or a Liv Morgan. All right, Dexter Loomis, uh, pro, we'll take that. Need that. Definitely need that on the alt account. I only got, you know, one uh, base tier Royal Rumble Pro. So, all right, let's finish it up with an exclusive draft board reset. And uh, by the way, I did pull my Sonya manager. That's right. I did get it. Uh, Brock Lesnar and a Charlotte player. Nothing. So throughout the entire Super Pass, I'm going to have to say again, the alt account certainly did better. Ended up with one pro four total Royal Rumbles. We got our Sonya Pro, which is the Valentine's that I wanted most. We got all the, pretty much most of the Maelstrom's done. We got some of uh, the Myers done, but uh, overall pretty good. Anyways, that is all the rewards for the Super Pass weeks two through four. And like I said, the collectibles and stuff we will I uh, do once reward mania is towards the end and see if the Brock Lesnar is going to be in there. Either way, let me know in the comments how your super pass went and hopefully I see everybody again soon. Y'all had a, hopefully had a good weekend and have a good week coming up. Y'all take it easy. We are out. Peace.